In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a template that can be used for uh, challenges or for success or for the roadmap or different kind of uh, things you can just think of with this slide. So let me just show you what exactly uh, I'm talking about and how the slide looks like. So if you can see here, I've added one uh, slide where I've just put some kind of a cloud and when I click the first part of the mountain comes you can see here with the road and when i click it comes the second part with the road then the third part and the fourth part and then i have added one uh, animated gif flag here you can see here and then i've just added some shadow effects here some clouds at the background and when i click the first uh, you can see here the milestone can come like this then the second third fourth fifth and then if there's any obstacles you can just add some obstacles here and then you can add your the last uh, the milestone here so depending on your requirement you can increase the roads or decrease it change the color of the mountain add more flag the clouds or different flags also you can edit or add it for example i have made one more slide where i've put the flag of india here i've put the flag of pakistan and uh, Palestine and if you want you can just add some simple uh, icons to it and to get the the icon the flags of your country you can just visit this particular website where I have just downloaded the the animated uh, GIF flags okay so you can just go to this website and just download uh, the animated GIF flag of your country and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to draw a mountain to draw a mountain i'm going to insert a triangle go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this triangle draw the triangle from this end you can see here covering the whole the bottom part and till how much you need depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size so maybe i'm going to take this much shape outline make it no outline and shape fill uh, you can choose any color uh, maybe later also you can change it so let me just uh, put this color first now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into uh, three parts or four parts depending on the requirement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to select the oval, draw the oval shape, something like this. You can see here. All right. And then for this also shape outline, make it no outline. And then I'm going to make it somewhat transparent for that right mouse click, go to format shape under fill. I'm going to make it somewhat transparent. Why I'm doing that one? Because to know how much exactly I need to keep the width for the, the road. Okay. So now I'm going to select this, press control D to duplicate. And then you can see here the area, which is here. I'm going to keep it that one and the rest I'm going to delete it. All right so you can see this much so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease you can reduce the size increase the size you can do a lot of things now what i'm going to do is for my uh, later use i'm just going to duplicate this one so right mouse click and duplicate the slide so i've got one more slide here so let me just go to the slide number three. First of all i'm going to select this shape the first one the oval shape hold the shift key select the second one under format go to merge shape now merge shape is available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using 2007 this option is not at all available if you're using 2010 then fragment is not available and this also you need to enable it from the options and if you're using 2013 then this option is available so if you're using the older version then uh, some of these features will not be available okay now what i'm going to do here you can see here i'm just going to click on subtract all right something like this now let me just go to the slide number four i'm going to copy this both the shapes Control c bring it here Control v and then i'm going to make it somewhat up one more up okay now again how much size you need you can just reduce it you can see here 
if you want more width all those things you can just do it with this okay so depending on your requirement you can just increase or decrease now again i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to select the first one the bottom one and then hold the shift key select the top one again go to format merge shape and i'm going to make it subtract now the third one i'm going to do it again let me just go to the slide number four select both of these shapes Control c copy bring to uh, slide number three Control v paste bring it up all right and again depending on your requirement you can just you can see here if you want more you know the road something like this more curve you can just make it something like this also so let me just put it all right now i'm going to select the first one hold the shift key select the second one again format merge shape i'm going to make it subtract so you can see here i have end up getting this uh, three shapes like this now i'm going to tilt it a little bit so select this one you can see here this one small this curved arrow or circular arrow i'm just going to tilt it okay and then i'm going to put it one like this this also i'm going to tilt a little bit i'm going to put it like this and this also i'm going to tilt it and i'm going to keep it like this all right so now uh, we have end up with this particular design again for the safer side i'm going to duplicate this one so if anything goes wrong then we can go back and correct this one okay or use this one so let me just go to the slide number three press ctrl a sorry not that one let me just go to slide number three again select one object press ctrl a so that all the objects got selected or you can just using the mouse also you can do it so depending on your requirement you can select all then go to format merge shape i'm going to make it fragment okay click on the fragment now you can see here this unwanted shapes i'm just going to select and delete it okay you can see here now i'm going to select this one this one and this one and shape fill i'm going to give maybe for the time being uh, off white color and if you want to change the background color also you can change any color of your choice let me just select this one and for this i'm going to choose the white color all right so you can see here is all different different shapes you know with the help of fragment it, it becomes like this okay so let me just undo this and then i'm going to select these shapes by holding the shift key and shape fill i'm going to give this color so depending on your requirement you can just choose the color from so uh, we have made this particular uh, design with the help of the fragment we have made the roads and all those things you can see here and these roads i have to make it zero percent transparency okay now uh, it doesn't look like a actual mountain so what we need to do is we need to just uh, customize the shape of this one so let's see how we can do that part now so let's start from the top let me just zoom in so that you can see more closely what exactly i'm trying to do i'm going to select this part you can see here right mouse click edit points and you have got different points and here i can just right mouse click exactly on this one when the cursor becomes like this i can right mouse click add point also and i'm just moving something like this you can see here so that it looks kind of a somewhat realistic shape and again add point you can see here something like this all right so that's the end if you want to make it more top also you can make it more top and then coming to the second one here again select this one edit points and i want to just make it something here somewhat bigger all right you can see here you can just think of doing a lot of things here again if you want to add point add the point and with the help of this one you can just do any sort of customization as you like so you can see here see the difference let me just all right so like this we need to just do it for each and every you know the 
shapes here again i'm going to select this one maybe i'm going to make it somewhat up and then i'm coming back to this one all right and then for this one the white one i'm going to edit points and then i'm just going to reduce it okay so it looks something like this and here also i can just make it somewhat all right and then again for this edit point you can see here and here also okay and at the again at the bottom also edit point and then i can just choose something like this you can see here all right so you got this kind of a mountain shape and then to make a kind of a road or one uh, divider here i'm going to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select this curve just click it here click like this you can see here and then just double click here and shape outline make it black and then uh, go to outline again if you want to increase the weight you can increase the weight and then you can give some dotted lines here all right something like this so the same thing i'm going to do it for this one go to insert shapes again select the curve just click one again if you want to bend it you have to click one and then you have to stretch it something like this you can see here and if it is wrong also you can just later on edit the points okay double click again i'm going to select this one format painter and i'm going to click it here all right and then the last one do the same step select this all right and then double click it again with the help of the format painter i'm going to select this one so you can see here with this we have completed the design of the mountain now it's to, time to add some flags and some uh, different uh, options here now you can do uh, by here you can just add one flag either you can just go to insert and icons again icons is available only in the latest version of powerpoint so let me just click the icons here and then i'm just going to select the required icon so if i just go to the location maybe i need this one you can see here and even i need this also for my later use and click on insert let me just move this aside and then this particular flag i can give the same color and then i can just place it at the top of the mountain the peak here all right now if you want uh, to add different flags where i have used in my template in that case you need to just go to this particular website uh, and then you can just download the animated gif flags okay so let me just uh, select this one now for the meantime all right and then if you want to make some shadow effect also you can just add the shadow effect and then what i'm going to do this i'm going to add a few this here points here again so for this i'm going to make it a uh, white color you can see here if you want to reduce the size i'm going to press ctrl d you can see here you can put some milestone kind of thing again here for this i'm going to reduce the size a little bit all right here also and then i'm going to add one more at the top which is more smaller okay and then depending on your requirement you can just add the text so i'm going to add your detail text here center align white font reduce the size and then i'm going to place it here press ctrl d you can see here you can place it like this here i'm going to place at the top just ctrl d to duplicate and if you want to add some kind of a hindrances or obstacles also you can just add some kind of obstacles so if you can just scroll it down and you can 
find the relevant icon for the obstacles let me just uh, choose which is better obstacle so maybe you know something like this and insert and the color I'm going to make it red color reduce the size and I'm going to place it here it's a obstacle you can just add just for the example purpose only I've added this uh, particular shape you can add any icon depending on your requirement all right so you can see here uh, with this uh, we have completed the some kind of a basic design and if you want some kind of a shadow effect also what you need to do here in this case you need to select this right mouse click duplicate the slide all right and uh, so i'm um, let me just go to the slide number four go to insert shapes and i here let me just delete all those things i don't need this information here actually i should have done that before but anyway let me just show you how i did that kind of uh, uh, shadow effects there then go to the freeform shape and then depending on your requirement i'm just zigzag i'm just you know and then make sure that you need to attach this one okay now what i'm going to do is shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to select this shape this shape this and hold the shift key this one merge shape i'm going to fragment this once i fragment this one I can just copy only this part you can see here control C bring it here control V actually and then I'm just going to paste it exactly here and I'm going to give a black color a dark color and then you can just increase the transparency so like this you can just add some shapes here okay so if you see here I added like that only all these things this is something not this one let me just see you can see here all those things i have just added it by myself okay so this is the way i have added that one so depending on your requirement you can just add it now with this we have completed the design now it's time to do a simple animation how to do the animation is very simple i'm not going to show you all but let me just show you one or two steps go to the animations enable the animation pane I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to make it white. All right, so this is the white. And then the road part, I'm going to select both of this, the line and this one. Press Control G to group it. And this is also white. Instead of from the bottom, I'm going to choose it from left. So it comes something like this and this should happen after previous. And then again, with the help of animation painter, I'm going to click on this. And again, this also I need to group it okay control g here also um, let me just group it all right and then again i'm going to put it here again animation painter click on this one all right and then the last one and again the flag also you can give the wipe effect so let me just show it to you so this one I have not animated. That's the reason it is showing like this. Otherwise, it will come something like this. You can see here. All right. So then you can just use any animation. I can just say fly in, fly in from top. You can see here. Double click this one. If you want bounce end, you can increase the bounce end. So it comes something like this. All right. So depending on your requirement, what kind of animation uh, suits your requirement, you can just uh, add it here.